Well, hey everybody. Today is Wednesday, the 17th. The year is 2024. And I posted uh, some stuff on my blog page. You can get there by the link in the description box. Or just go to buddyhuggins.com and that'll take, it to you, take you to my blog spot, blog page. And check out uh, what I've been posting for a couple of weeks actually. A lot of interesting stuff. But this video by this investigator uh, order talking about Blackwater and Larry Fink and what the coming plans are for us. They don't have our best interest at heart. They don't have us having the Constitution much longer because they literally have to take us off the Constitution to be able to control us like they want to do. But we got inalienable rights that people need to start talking about. And all these people talking about Agenda 2030 and what's that going to mean for buying and selling things to you Christian community that's just flat ass the mark of the beast I can understand people who have not had access to any of this information uh, uh, why they just um, believe whatever they're told by the BBC or CNN or the government or whatever I can understand that this hard realization hit a lot of people at the same time, and we almost simultaneously began to question everything we previously believed to be true. As we went deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole, we realized everything we were led to believe was a smokescreen. Mainstream media, international organizations, our democracy. People began to question the narrative, particularly things that were previously demeaned and demonized the so-called conspiracy theories, if you would. As the new popular saying goes, everything is a conspiracy theory until it is proven to be fact. David Icke, a popular speaker and self-published writer, describes this rapidly spreading quest for the truth as the awakening. According to the former footballer and sports broadcaster, people are now waking up to the facts that got him labeled as a conspiracy theorist and a social pariah in his country many years ago. David Icke has been banned from numerous countries due to his outspoken views on free speech, censorship, and his efforts to expose those he claims secretly control the world. According to Icke, a highly compartmentalized network of secret societies holds real power, with only a select few knowing the full extent of their control and censorship and plans to strip humanity of its free will. He believes these elites aim to establish a dystopian new world order where a powerful minority enslaves the global population. For you people that don't really know who you are in Christ, that just means another type of fancy debit card and another way of getting identity cards so they can know who we are. Look, they already know who we are. We got what they call birth certificates and social security cards. I don't need no damn digital ID that works with the cell phone because I don't have a cell phone because I was told in 1993 cell phones was a soft kill. And then in 98, my little buddy came back to Mississippi and told me the cell phones are a hard kill. Hard kill is, yeah exactly what it says i can't give too much away you you know they've been mapping our genome you know they know that we have a vibration everybody vibrates at a different frequency and once they know your frequency then it's real easy for them to enter and penetrate your auric field they can use weapons of mass destruction to modify your thinking. We've seen a little case of that in the news here lately. Yeah, 
I can't say too many words to get this video looked at too hard by the algorithm AI that is not got our best interest at heart. So all I can tell you is that you, you better make sure your politicians know what the hell 9-11 was. 9-11, I can't say this because it's more factual evidence that it's a conspiracy fact than a conspiracy theory. The fact is, it's an inside job and it's gonna be the catalyst to do the next one and the next one and the next one until we wake up and start talking to each other about what does it mean if 9-11 was an inside job? Backbone. Get a little bit of backbone and talk to people. Tell them what your belief is. Why don't people talk to each other no more? I guess it's causing damn cell phones. But as you can tell, I'm a little hyped up about it. The, that blog page is the is the very first one that I've done. It's got today's date on it. <clears throat> Read all of it. Check it out. Read it. Look at the descriptions. Look at how I created the descriptions. Listen to the video. Then there's a David Icke video in there too by saying that name. He's one of the most censored people on the planet. He's one of the most loving, caring, humanitarian, God-believing people of consciousness on this planet. He's been talking about the Great Awakening before they banned the word Great Awakening. Now that's another word I done said. Shit. They got us where we can't talk. They want us where we can't spend our money unless they know where it's going and what it's being done with. How freaking rude is that? There's a bike rider. He walked right by me when I was hollering. He didn't wave, didn't say hi, didn't say nothing. <laughs> All right. We're in a world of trouble, people. Here comes another one. Two. Two of them. They're coming up on me. How y'all doing? Good, how are you? Wonderful. It's kind of humid now. It's humid. Humidity. It rained pretty good because the creek is up real high in Ozark. All these big trucks coming down through here. Look how heavy that is. Look, people, you see how heavy that is? Get his license plate reporting. I may be wrong. I, I'm doing this in front of these people just pulled up here and they looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> I may be wrong. I am crazy. Okay. I, I may be wrong about uh, the weight, but look like to me it's too heavy. Look at the road already busted up. See the road busted up? But I guess the 23 is closed, so it gives them the so-called right. 60? Yeah, gives them the right to come down through here. Hey, hey was the guy in front of y'all part of y'all? Yeah. yeah. He ain't checked up. He don't even know y'all back here. <laughs> That's all right. He knows where to go. He's a big boy. He didn't, I, I said hi. He didn't wave or nothing. He just kept going. He seen a person talking to a stick and he didn't know what to do. He's in his own little world. Yeah. I tell you what, if we don't wake up and start talking to each other, we're in a world of a lot of hurt coming down through the UN and all these other agencies over there that don't give a damn about us. Nope. You know, Blackwater, Larry Fink, yep. he wants to put us all on a digital currency. I don't know about y'all, but the Bible says when it comes to when you buy and sell, we don't play games. That's the mark of the beast. <laughs> hey, they want to digitize all of us. Want to know exactly what we eat, what we spend. 
So where'd you start? I started in uh, uh, August 17, 2003. No, I mean today. Today. <laughs> I, I wrote uh, today? Ozark, Ozark. Right by the mill. I'm just coming to the church and go back. And that's roughly be about like, uh, I don't know, something like 18 miles, 19 miles. If I go to Rogersville, come here, and then go back, it's 30. Yeah, that's where we're going to be 20, we'll be about 28. Y'all turned around in Rogersville? Yeah. Cool. All right, is everybody ready? Yep. I'm going to videotape y'all as y'all roll out. <laughs> Look at that good group this of people. We're going to be famous. <laughs> oh, you just got to go to... Best form. Nice to meet you. My name's Buddy, B-U-D-D-Y, okay. Hugging. I'm David, that's David. I love to hug people after I get to know them. You I'm your, safe. I'm your buddy. See you, buddy. See y'all. I'll put it on YouTube where y'all can see me sh shouting to the people. <laughs> Alrighty. Lord, have mercy. That's a good group of people right there. They didn't shy away from talking. I could see that I got to do a lot more of that to people. And they got to do it to each other <laughs> than people they meet. That's the hard part is to get them to talk <laughs> to each other about this. Yeah, they can talk to me because they really don't know where my mind is. <laughs> August 17, 2003, that was the start of me. That's why I quoted that number to him. We all have a birthday and then we all have a start day. The start day is when you come to your senses about what this world is. In other words, you wake up in your conscious being and you know that you are loved divinely by your Father, Mother, God, the creator of all things that are eternal and not any that is corroding and dying and fading away everything of this world is dying except the Christ that lives within you and no matter what this outer world can say it can do to us it's a lie they can't do nothing except what you do with your own thinking your own thoughts when you change the way you think and you realize that you're loved by the Creator and that this world is not real. It's a matrix. It's a holographic reality that they have, the Nephilim and the Anunnaki's have entrapped us in. We're not who we think we are, but when we know who we are, we're very powerful. We can heal our bodies and heal our minds and we can get about seeing how to help other people know this peace and this truth of the resurrected power of the Christ consciousness that I am. Through the I am presence, I will always be. And I am a light body being inhabiting a physical form for a short time. My identity is not fixed around my birth certificate nor my social security card or whatever the the UN and all these other people on these other side of the world want us to do. I'm not going to cooperate. And I'm going to make videos showing and telling for prosperity what happened. Because they have a plan to get rid of a lot of us and replace us. They, for them to stop me, they're gonna have to kill me. I love y'all. Y'all keep coming back and we'll talk about how to get out of this mess and use our God-given ability to love each other so much that they can't harm us with any thoughts of, of their uh, wanting to create a new reality for us. They can kiss my foot. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs>